Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be solving problem 412, the fees bus problem on the code. It states write a program that outputs the string representation of numbers from 1 to n, but for multiples of 3 it should output fizz instead of the number and for multiples of 5 output buzz. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5 output fizz buzz. So here it gives us an example with n equals 15 and you can see the output here. If the number is not a multiple of 3 and 5 or multiple of 3 or 5, then we just output the number. And we're going to be doing this in the dot programming language. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this uh, function signature, a method signature. And let's actually code this problem. I'm going to paste it here. And so I've solved for Python. I'm going to go ahead and um, specify the type as int here, just for clarity. So what we want to do is we want to keep uh, fizz buzz list, okay? And this is going to be a, a list of type dynamic. So dynamic is exactly what it means. It means that we will be able to store any variable of any type during runtime, all right? So it's a dynamic list. So what we're going to do is we create a for loop to go over the numbers from 1 to n. So we're going to say number. We're going to equal to 1. Number is less than or equal to n. You know what? This kind of looks bad. So I'm just going to change this to limit. Okay. Change that to limit. All right. And we're going to do number plus plus. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to say if number, right, mod 15. So why 15? Well, 15 is the smallest multiple of 3 and 5, all right? So if number mod 15 equal, equal to 0, then what we want to do is we want to say fizzbuzzlist.add. And then what we want to do is add a value. So you're going to do a string. You're going to say fizz buzz all right and then else if right number mod 3 equal, equal to 0 then what we want to do is we want to add uh, fizz all right so we're going to say fizz buzz list dot add and then we're going to add fizz okay and then else if number mod 5 equal, equal to 0, then you want to add buzz. So we're going to say fizz buzz list dot add. You want to add buzz. All right. Else, we just add the number. So we're going to say fizz buzz list dot add. And we just add number and you guys can see that we didn't have to say something like um, int dot parse or anything like that we could just store the number right away inside of this dynamic list here and this is why I kind of like um, dart in some ways most of the things that we do in dart are very short and concise and a lot of the things that you would typically fill in most programs are handled really gracefully for you Let's say, for example, that number was not initialized to anything, right? It was still added as a type null. So um, you don't get into any problems. It would just give you a bad output. So what we need to do next is just uh, return the fizzbuzz list, right? And uh, this is it. We're done. So now we just need to go ahead and create main so we can um, run the function. So what I'm going to do is just say print and I'm going to pass in fizzbuzz and for the limit I'm going to go ahead and pass 15 okay and we can just go ahead and print this and you can see that the output is correct the first one that we get should be for 15 for fizzbuzz right everything else is fine so 3 we get fizz 5 we get buzz 6 we get fizz and then for 10 Right, we get uh, 
Well, for nine we get fizz, for ten we get buzz, and for twelve, uh, for twelve we get uh, this is a multiple of three we get fizz, all right, and then finally we get one for multiple of three and five we get fizz buzz. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up. If you have any uh, questions, please leave it down in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.